Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Pamela Ann, and I'm an oil painter from Vancouver, Canada. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to talk about some things I learned from painting 10 portraits once a week for 10 weeks. Let's get straight into the video with the first thing that I learned, which is that I learn how to paint a la prima. A la prima by definition is painting with oils wet on wet and finishing a painting within one sitting. When it comes to the portraits I've painted in the past, it's taken me sometimes a hundred hours or more just to complete a whole painting. This is because I'll paint in multiple layers, which ends up taking me months to finish. So my goal was to complete each portrait in one day, and I'm actually really surprised that I've been able to accomplish that. With the first few portrait sketches, they took me a full day of working, which was about seven to eight hours of painting. Even though I say I've learned how to paint a la prima, I wouldn't say I'm very good at it, and I do still prefer painting in layers. Plus, eight hours of painting in one day is pretty long, which brings me to my next point, which is that I learned how to paint faster. I was surprised at how much I noticed I was completing portraits in less time. This is a big win for me because being slow at painting is one of my biggest problems. Despite being able to finish a sketch faster, at a certain point, I think the speed was doing more harm than good. Although it's cool to see that I was capable of completing a portrait in three hours, ultimately, I'm not happy with it. Essentially, I was sacrificing quality for time. After getting to the point where I completed a portrait in three hours, I decided not to rush things as much and I painted a portrait in five hours, which is still faster than the first few portraits where I was painting them in seven to eight. The third thing that I learned was to paint with looser brush strokes. Because I was pushing myself to paint faster with each portrait, I naturally became more loose with my brush strokes and spent less time blending. Typically, I focus probably too much on making things look as perfect as possible. Not that I could make anything look hyper-realistic, but I do have a problem with focusing too early on details and spending a lot of time blending. So I do think that it was beneficial for me to loosen up and not get so hung up on these things. The fourth thing that I learned was how to paint hair better. Whenever I've painted hair in the past, I was quite clueless on how to approach it. I'd end up mostly avoiding the process until closer to the end. Even though I wanted to paint every single strand, it ended up looking unrealistic. Because I was now painting a la prima, I achieved a way better result than I ever have painting in layers. I especially like how the hairline area turned out. So for my future paintings, I'm definitely going to adopt this approach. My last point is a little cheesy, but I learned that I still have a lot to learn. I actually never went to art school, but I did work at a studio for an artist for four years. I won't go into too much detail about this experience, but essentially it was like a paid apprenticeship. The difference here is that we worked with acrylic paints, and for my personal work, I paint with oils. So in that regard, I am self-taught, and everything I've learned has either been from the internet or just experimentation over the years. One thing that became apparent to me is that I need to learn more about human anatomy. I found myself having issues with painting the neck and chest, and in some cases, it was more challenging because it was also painted in shadow. The second thing I noticed I need to improve on is color mixing. Some areas ended up looking muddy, and I think this is in part due to not mixing the right values for the areas that are in shadow. As much as I enjoy painting faces, I don't think I have the right colors nailed yet for skin. Painting fabric was another big issue for me with these portraits. I have painted fabric in my own work a couple times, and I do think they were pretty successful in these cases, but I definitely lack skill when it comes to painting fabric a la prima. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Now I challenge you to paint something once a week for 10 weeks and tell me how it goes. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.